Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School Where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool Truly learn with a common goal We are safe, respectful, and responsible Home to math minds, some of the best readers Musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders Lots happening in this wonderful place And there's only one way to stay up to date So if you got a case of the sandbox blues Hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Yo, what's up, guys? Floating Head here, and I also have Dylan and Logan with me. <laughs> Around middle school, and welcome to the fourth quarter of the 2019 2020 school year. That's right, there's only nine weeks left of school. My, how time flies when you are having fun. No <laughs> wonder this year seems like it is zooming by. Attention eighth graders interested on taking part in a leadership role once they're in high school. Student government applications are due April 26th. Attention 8th grade leaders, Milwaukee High School is looking for passionate students interested in positively affecting the Mustang community. They want students who are willing to show up early to school and stay late after school to plan events. And organize fundraisers. <laughs> if you meet these qualifications, then MHS would love for you to apply to be a member of 9th grade student government. Ninth graders in student government are in charge of homecoming week, which consists of planning the lip sync and creating the flow. In addition, ninth graders are tasked with organizing and running the blood drive. Oh. Hey, Brittany! Student government is essentially Shamrock News 2 over at MHS. As the members, they also run the social media accounts and make videos for the school as well. Here's how you sign up. First, come to Mr. Dix's pod and grab a packet. You'll need to fill it out and get two teacher recommendations. Then, you need to make a one minute long video stating why you should be chosen to be a member of the student government. Hello, students of Rao. I am Isaac Hively and I'm running for student government. My name is Annie, I'm running for freshman class president. I'm running for president. We got this. Shelly, please, we're moving on. I'm Lulu McBride, and I'm running for your student government president. Hi, my name's Miss Lankford, and I will be running for freshman class president. My name's Ian Johnson, and I'm running for freshman class president. If you aren't at Shamrock News Media Arts, or you don't have access to video equipment, don't worry, the Shamrock News team will help you out. You'll need to submit your application and video to Mr. Dix by the end of April. Each member of the 8th grade class will then vote on the top four candidates. The top four total votes getters will then be elected to student government. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was the worst. So if you're interested, please see Mr. Dix for an application. This month's student of the month theme is creativity. What are you doing? Oh, just drawing. Wow, that's so creative. What's your favorite idea? Hmm, mine's being. Wow, did you make that up? Yeah, all by myself. Wow, that's so creative. What's that? I'm making this. Uh, just a dance I made up. Wow, that's so creative. Ha, 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 ha. Wow, our student of the month theme is creativity. And with all these creative students at Rao, it sure is going to be hard to narrow down the selections. This week on the It's Lit podcast, Cheyenne, Mr. Dix, Silas, and Lillian gave out some 10 out of 10 recommendations. Our theme for the podcast was from novels to Netflix. We were looking at books and graphic novels that were eventually turned into movies or television shows that you can currently stream off Netflix. Mr. Dix chose The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. And Cheyenne chose All the Boys Who I've Loved Before. I chose The Umbrella Academy. And I chose The Lord of the Rings. So if you want to 
want to hear us talk about our favorite things about these books and movies slash shows, tune in to the It's Lit podcast. Available <laughs> on all fucking streaming services. <laughs> My legs. This Friday, in the gym during lunch, we'll be holding students versus staff three-on-three -three tournament. Where the teachers are obviously going to lose. Back by popular demand, staff versus students, three on three. This Friday, April 12th, during all three lunches. The last one was so successful and loved by students and staff who both participated that we thought we'd run it back. We're actually gonna do one more students versus staff three on three tournament every month for the remainder of the school year. So one on April 12th, one in May, and one in June. So if you feel like breaking Mr. Dix's ankles or dunking on Ms. Perpich, come down to the staff versus students three on three. You don't have to sign up ahead of time, just come to the gym during lunch. Last time, the teachers only lost one game the whole time, thanks to Sean, Luke, and Zach. Other than that, we beat everybody, so we're really looking forward to probably going undefeated this time around. See you this Friday, April 12th. Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land, that you understand. Ocean man, the voyage to the corn. The last dance of the school year will be held on Friday, May 17th. More information will be coming soon, but for now, you need to know the expectations. You know the last dance was so lit? Yeah, I just wish we could have one more for the year. You're in luck! <laughs> That's right, the last dance is approaching. On Friday, May 17th, our third and final dance will be held. Remember, you can't have any referrals from the beginning of the fourth quarter until the night of the dance. More information will be coming soon. Washington DC is so cool. Look at all that amazing stuff. There's the White House. And there's the Jefferson Memorial. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's the US Capitol. <laughs> this is the best trip ever. This year's eighth graders are getting ready to embark on their DC New York trip this summer. But if you're a seventh grader, you'd like to head to DC and New York next summer with Mr. Slack, then you should come to our first informational meeting. This meeting will take place on Tuesday, May 7 at 5.30 p.m. in room 103. That's Mr. Slack's room. So if you're a seventh grader and you'd like to go on the trip of a lifetime, we'll see you at the meeting. Tuesday, May 7th at 5.30 p.m. in room 103. How much fun is the DC trip? Very fun. It is fun seeing all those wonderful places with new faces. What is your favorite part of the trip? I love the New York Broadway play. I love the Lincoln Memorial. Oh, George Washington's house. See you there! like to congratulate our most recent additions to the One Million Word Club.
Attention Rao Middle School and Boys and Girls Club after school participants. There will be no after school program on Thursday, April 18th and Friday, April 19th. Milwaukee Dance Team will soon be holding tryouts for next year's dance team. If you're an 8th grader interested in joining, grab a form from the front office. The Milwaukee High School Dance Team, aka the Pony Prancers, performs at multiple competitions and sporting events throughout the school year. You can see them at halftime of football and basketball games. And last year, the team performed at the state and national tournament. And they're looking for incoming freshmen to join their 2019-2020 season. The Milwaukee High School Dance Team will be holding tryouts for next year's dance team on Tuesday, April 30th and Wednesday, May 1st from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The auditions will be held at Milwaukee High School Gym. Please wear appropriate dance clothing to the auditions. If you're interested in trying out, please grab a slip from the main office. In order to participate, in order to participate, you must have a current GPA of at least 2.5. Please email the coaches at milwaukeedt at gmail.com. Miss Bennett and the band have been working on a commission piece of music for the last month. 6th to 12th grade, Brown Middle School and Milwaukee High School band members will be performing the Mustang inspired tune next Tuesday, April 16th at Milwaukee High School. Last week, the composer of the piece of the music joined them for a Q&A. Can play me your Johnny Wonder? Just so we get those reeds working back again. Think about your posture. Ready and hold it. How often and how long do you practice your instrument? My instrument? Well, you guys, boy, that's a tough question. I try to get a minimum of an hour to two hours every day. Um, and that's not always possible. I travel um, sometimes with a with a national blues artist named Curtis Salgado, and so when you're on the road or flying somewhere, you don't always get to get your horn out. I play the trumpet in public, and I learned all the instruments as a college student, so I knew the fingerings and some of the dilemmas that might come along with that. So that would be question number five. And we've met before, and last spring, I came to him and said, I would really like to commission, which means we are paying him to write this music. We had a conversation. He said, tell me what you want it to sound like or what you want in it. And I said, for 19 years, I've heard parents come to me and say, I graduated from Milwaukee High School. I am here because I want my child to graduate from Milwaukee High School. And for 19 years I've heard and I've seen some of you wearing it on your t-shirt or sweatshirt on the back. Mustang born, Mustang bred, gonna be a Mustang till I'm dead. We talked earlier as we started working on this piece that that is your opening theme of the piece.
Thanks for joining us around middle school. See you next time on the Shamrock News. Boy. Did you like that? Aw, where's my backpack? Yeah. I also have Dylan and Logan with me. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you bark? <laughs> Why are you barking? I just keep going. Okay. We need four. Four? Okay. What? Because then Wait, no, we can get captured. Well, they said there is. I don't know my watch. <laughs> I ask, what are you doing? You say, just drawing. I right. say, wow, that's so creative. You say, thanks. Okay, three, two, one. Our theme for the podcast was from novels to negatives. You have to talk a little bit louder because of. I don't understand why you would dance this. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You know the last dance was so lit? Yeah, I think we could have one more for the year. You're in luck. Here you go. You don't need to sign up ahead of time, just come down during lunch and yeah. Now you guys are out of the shot. Oh, wait, what? Where? Like, right here? Daniel and Christian moved out.